Um, hello, I'm going to show you how to make this volcano inside of Gaia. Um, we're just going to be modeling it, not doing any textures. But I still think it's a great exercise. Oh uh, yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so... This is what the tree looks like. It's pretty small. But there's actually only four essential nodes, so let's go over those real quick. Let's create the crater. And it's important to have down here rays turned on, but nice and high because we're, we're going to erode it down. So make it so it needs to be higher than it, it actually is. And then play around with these settings until you get a nice uh, single canyon in, in the middle. Make sure you have single canyon up here, crater, or else it'll give you like a, a moon field effect. And then you bring that to shaper. Oh, okay. We'll get into this mess, but basically, if you just want a normal volcano crater, thermal shaper, thermal erosion, and you have the volcano. But as you can see here, I have some spikes going around it. I think that adds kind of kind of like a fantasy effect. I think it will look good in, in like a movie or a video game. It adds some extra deta detail to it. So let's talk about how to. Uh, how do I do that? Let's work with these spikes here. Mountains. Cells. And then repulse. So the mountains gives different height variants to your cells. The cells makes spikes once they're eroded. And repulse simply pushes them around your volcano in a circular fashion. I think that this is pretty self-explanatory uh, visually. And then I combine those two. Now we have something to work with here. This is good for uh, our, our uh, primitive shape. And then I use Thermal Shaper. Th thermal Shaper is great for uh, keeping the volume. As you can see here, there's still nice some volume on either side, but it makes it nice and pointy at the top. Otherwise, if you just erode it from here, from, from here, if you just erode it, it'll be, uh, you're going to lose all, all this volume. So you definitely need Thermal Shaper. That's why I use Thermal Shaper. You have it very handy if you have never used it before. And then just your typical thermal erosion combo. And I also add out outcrops. And so this just adds different texture variants throughout the model. Um, yeah, and then I just combine those two. Now we're getting our, our shape. You know, this is kind of what I was going after at the beginning. Also, I don't know why this part's sticking out. In the 4K version, this is all clumped together in one uh, nice mound at the top, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to use Canyonizer. And uh, this just adds variance. See how there's that nice line right here? Breaker for your final erosion pass. And then Rugged Distraction Detail. So you, you, you could go a lot more crazy with this. Like I said, these four are really the only ones you need. But I always like to add extra detail after the final, after the thermal erosion. Um, and then this technique, cells and repulse, I haven't seen a YouTube about that yet, so it's kind of why I wanted to make this. Uh, yeah, it could be cool for all sorts of spikes. Kind of want to do like a coastal scene with some nice uh, spikes around the coast. That'll look really cool. And Elcrops is one of my favorite, favorite nodes. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Quick and easy. Um, yeah, that's how to do a volcano. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.